Okay, I think we're just about ready to go in a second. Hope you're well and good. Welcome as always. This is just going to be a very quick stream, a very quick stream. Hey folks, hope you're well and good. We're going to be live uh, in just a second. Just going to be a very quick recording to have a little bit of chat about the Grim Patron news of all things. So we'll jump into that. It'll be good to have a quick look through and see what's going on, and we can talk about it in terms of the YouTubes. The YouTubes indeed. So let us go live now. Hey, welcome to Falcraft. I'm Hammy, and in this quick five minute or so Hearthstone news update, we're going to be talking about the news of early October 2015, and that is that Grim Patron Warrior is taking a big hey, everyone get in here in the face. And that is because Blizzard have announced today that there's going to be a little bit of a tweak to a card that's pretty key to that deck kind of working. It's a balance change, it's a balance change to none other than Warsong Commander. First things first, let's have a look at Blizzard's statement. Let's then jump in and after the statement have a look at the cards in question and from a newish player friendly perspective or if you're a bit new to Hearthstone understand why this is a bit of a big deal and how it will affect a deck that's been certainly very popular for the last few months in Hearthstone. So jumping on into the Blizzardy type statement that we have here. If you can read this I will summarize it for you I will blitz through it for you. Warsong Commander now reads your charge minions have plus one attack. Now what Warsong Commander used to read Whenever you summon a minion with three or less attack, give it charge. Big, big difference between those two. Your charge minions now have one attack, but any minion with three or less attack would be given charge. This card in the past caused problems, and it was changed. Warsong Commander has had a lot of different tweaks. Blizzard's reasoning. Over the course of the short but impactful history of Hearthstone, we have taken a strong stance that we'd like to make changes to cards only when they are completely necessary. So reasons that Blizzard have given in the past, and indeed that they do state in this uh, little post by none other than Zariah, community manager extraordinaire, say that they don't want anything so dominant, so prevalent that it affects the enjoyment of the game and it affects the people's creativity in terms of making decks. The direction of the gameplay and the metagame should be defined by our players um, and they'd like many different types of decks to emerge. Cards that were once impactful in the meta can be less so when new strategies emerge and that change is brought on by the constant need and drive and innovation by our players. But that's a need for innovation and drive for innovation. Innovation is just one way a game can evolve. The best way to shake up the meta and innovate in Hearthstone is by introducing new cards. So, a little statement of intent there from Blizzard. They would very much like to introduce new cards and change things rather than have to too much change around existing cards. So, a little bit of a key point there as well. It's exciting to discover a deck that may have an advantage over a popular deck. New cards, new conversations. Going forward, we will need to start, continue to stand by our stance that we'll only make adjustments to cards when we feel it's completely necessary and allow the injection of new cards into the game. This is the real meaty bit at the bottom. In the case of Warsong Commander, we felt this change was necessary to help expand both future design space and to stand by our overarching game philosophy that battles between minions and fighting for board control is what makes Hearthstone fun and compelling. The time frame for this patch, given that today is 13th of October, is slated for some time next week. Right, so that is a little summary. Big hello to Obring. Hope you're well. Everyone else joining live on stream, twitch.tv forward slash Falcraftcast. Come join us. You can see all the details in the left column. So, if you're new to Hearthstone, 
why is this a big deal? If you're a current Hearthstone player, if you've seen Grim Patron Warrior, what is the deal with this? We'll round it up for you very, very quickly. So you can see that this piece uh, at the very bottom here, um, expanding future design space. Well, Warsong Commander, in its current iteration, forces Blizzard to for think very carefully about giving any minion three or less attack um, because then it can be instantly combined with a Warsong Commander for a very powerful charge effect. Now why this is very relevant to Grim Patron we'll go through in a second or two but you can see that is how Blizzard is thinking in terms of expanding design space. They don't want to have to always think of Warsong Commander whenever they design a three or less attack minion. And Warsong Commander is sufficiently powerful. In the past, it used to be combined with warrior cards. I'm just going to quickly um, jump out, like uh, various sort of berserker cards and similar. A little bit of a funny sound thing going on with my Hearthstone here, so I do apologize. But if we just quickly flick through and have a look at various three or less attack minions, um, you used to have Warsong Commanders with all kinds of crazy things. This was a good example. So um, I could summon it, I could give it charge, uh, it had three or less. Um, as soon as it had charge, I could buff it up, I could then charge in. And indeed, Warsong Commander would also go with other minions earlier in Hearthstone's meta. So Blizzard don't really want to worry about that. How does this affect Grim Patron? Well, Warsong Commander is a very, very key component of the Grim Patron Warrior deck. Um, and this is where the second piece comes in. Blizzard's overarching game philosophy that battles between minions and fighting for board control is what makes Hearthstone fun and compelling. They're saying that Warsong Commander in this format, along with Grim Patron, although it's not particularly mentioned specifically, do not cause battles between minions, do not cause fighting for board control. Warsong Commander, along with Grim Patron, is quite wombo combo -y. So, let's have a look at the Grim Patron. This is where Grim Patron comes in. The Grim Patron. Whenever this minion survives damage, summon another Grim Patron. Uh, this is commonly known as the uh, Everyone Get In Here deck, which has been playing ever since Blackrock Mountain and Grim Patron was introduced. How does it work? Whenever this minion survives damage, summon another Grim Patron. Now, the key thing in terms of the interaction between this and the Warsong Commander, whenever a Warsong Commander minion with three or less attack hits the table, it has charge. Whenever this minion survives damage, it summons another Grim Patron. And then, when that minion is summoned, if the Warsong Commander is on the table, that Grim Patron has charge. So, if you can put a Warsong Commander on the table for those couple of manas, and you can then, um, for three mana, and then you can drop a Grim Patron. That's eight, an 8 mana combo. If you've managed to somehow drop an Emperor Thorison or something beforehand, maybe get the Warsong Commander out the turn before you drop the Grim Patron, although the Warsong Commander is like a big red rag to a bull um, in terms of targets if you're playing against a Grim Patron. For 8 mana, and if you can trigger some damage on that Grim Patron, uh, you then start developing a Grim Patron Swarm. And the Grim Patron Swarm then, every additional Grim Patron you summon also gets charged, that can take damage, that can summon another Grim Patron which also gets charged. You very rapidly go tuk, 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 fill up an entire board. I'm going to link in the top centre of this video uh, our original two minute deck guide which we did. Thanks very much to Semphglass who put together a fabulous deck list for Grim Patron many months ago on Hearthborn. But have a look at that video um, and you can get Grim Patron if you need to Hearthstone. But you can basically see Warsong Commander plus Grim Patron fills your board up with a whole bunch of Grim Patrons and this according to Blizzard and I kind of agree actually um, is not battles between minions. It is not fighting for board control. It is a wombo combo of uh, here is a win condition. If I can survive and get this win condition, face victory and win. And so many people use this in Hearthstone and this deck was so strong for laddering that it was almost making a sort of a chunk of its own meta in its own right. So that is the kind of change. How is this going to affect Grim Patron? Well, very very simply, Grim Patron's sting to a degree is taken out of it. You can still drop Grim Patrons. You can still make sure that um, they take some damage. You can use Whirlwinds, you can use all kinds of um, Warrior cards and uh, indeed other cards uh, still uh, to get the triggers um, if you like. But the powerful Warrior combo with that Warsong Commander. This plus one attack, your charge minions have plus one. It's a massive nerf and not only takes out Warsong Commander and its use in Grim Patron, but you know, Warsong Commander I'd probably not use now. 
pretty much any form, unless you've got a bunch of cheap charge minions. That's introducing another rushy swarm effect, maybe. Um, but that is the news in a nutshell. A Blizzard have said, in terms of the blog article, that this is probably going to go live sometime next week, in terms of a little change. Uh, so, if you want to grim patron away, I would very much uh, get in here as soon as you can, get a little deck list together, and try and give the deck list a go if you've got the cards before it disappears, before it disappears for good. But it's not going to be... Um, as effective in the current Wario format as it has been previously, because the combo was the key. If you could throw down Warsong and Grim Patron, that would let you fill the board with patrons, and then that would let you hit to a lot of damage for face for the victory if you needed to. So there you go, that's our little quick summary of a bit of Hearthstone news for you. It will be interesting how the meta change. Well, um, we're getting back into the post the Grand Tournament meta, the Grand Tournament obviously being uh, a month or so ish old now, having been around for a little while. But um, Secrets Paladin has very much come up, so without Grim Patrons, which has been strong for quite some time, expect to see a few more Secret Paladins flying around, I think. Um, and we'll have to see um, how uh, the meta changes a little bit. Um, there'll be a bit less anti-Grim Patron, but I think that some of the previous decks will come to the fore as well. And it'll be interesting to see if this breeds a little bit of innovation. Some people have said that the meta has been a little bit stagnant, a little bit stable. The Grand Tournament hasn't added huge amounts of change, but people are still growing into the expansion, so maybe we'll see if taking away Grim Patron makes a bit more space for other decks to thrive. And Grim Patron being so strong and such a chunk of laddering, it will certainly mean that uh, people can experiment with a few new different cards and play styles. So that is our little news update. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's a very, very quick video. We're going to try and get back to streaming our regular content a bunch more often. Do have a look at the Grim Patron deck guide in the top center. If you want to give Grim Patron Warrior uh, courtesy of Semp Glass, uh, you should also go and check out Semp Glass streaming as well. Details in the description of that video. Um, he has played a lot of Grim Patron. Knows his stuff. Would absolutely check that out. Um, do come join us another time. Uh, you can see Twitch stream over in the left there from YouTube. We're at Felcraft Cast on Twitter. Last but not least, the website Felcraft.org has not been updated in a few months. Videos on YouTube have been a little bit slow over the last few months as well, but we're going to start trying to get a couple out a week again and perhaps try and increase our streaming schedule back again as well. But loads of two minute deck guides, intros to various games, arena guides, Hearthstone for new players, and some other fun Blizzard games and things as well. Thanks very much for tuning in. This is Felcraft. I've been Hammy. Hopefully, see you soon. Do like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think about the video if you're on YouTube just down below. It'd be really good to hear from you. Take it easy.